And then recording that story. And time is now 1226. Okay, everyone, today we are going to learn about kitchen safety and hygiene skills. So, our learner objective is to understand kitchen hygiene and kitchen safety, Brian. And our demonstration of learning is to demonstrate hygiene and kitchen safety skills while making banana pudding with 80% accuracy. So, the purpose of this lesson is to be safe when cooking or when helping family cook and so that you won't cut yourself, burn yourself, cause a fire or anything else. Okay? So these are our vocabulary words and they're also written on the board. So who can tell me what sharp means? What does it mean for an object to be sharp? Hmm? Can somebody give me an example of a sharp object? Anna? A knife. A knife is something that is sharp and can hurt you. A stencil. So, a what? Stencil. A stencil? <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, a knife, especially when you're in the kitchen, that's one of the sharpest things in the kitchen that can hurt you, is a knife. And so we're going to talk about safety with sharp objects. What does, what does it mean to be microwave safe or a dish to be microwave safe? What does that mean? Can you put aluminum foil in the microwave? No. Mm -hmm. no. So is that microwave safe? Yes. No. No. Class. It's not safe at all. Is it my? It, can we put aluminum yeah. foil in the microwave? No. 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 So would that be microwave safe or not safe for the microwave? It's not safe for the microwave. Why? What would happen if you put aluminum foil in a microwave? It's gonna blow up your house. It's gonna. It, it can cause damage to the microwave and cause a fire. Can we put a glass plate that you eat on. Can yeah. we put that in the microwave? Mm -hmm. So would that be microwave safe? No. That'd be microwave safe. Can we put plastic in the oven? Yeah, no. 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 What would happen if we put plastic in the oven? It'll melt. It'll melt. You'll open up the oven and what's going to, what you going to see? No. A burnt stuff in there. It's going to all be melted. Okay, Claudia. No more giggling. It'll all be melted inside of the oven. And so can we put like a metal pan in the oven with something on it? Like cookies? Can we put like cookies on a metal pan? Yes. So will we say that the metal pan is oven safe? Yes, it's totally oven safe. Salvador, you think the a metal pan with cookies on it is safe to go into the oven? Okay. What about the plastic? What about plastic? Can plastic go in the oven? Not safe. No. Not safe. So that's not safe. So that that's what it means to be microwave safe and oven safe. Because if you look on containers and dishes, a lot of times it'll say microwave safe, and sometimes it'll say not microwave safe or not oven safe. Okay. Oven mitt. Raise your hand if you know what an oven mitt is. Very good. Liliana, you don't know what an oven mitt is? Oven. Where does the oven mitt go? Red. Yes, it can be red, but where would it go? Okay, put your hands down. Pan. It'll go, it's used to get a pan out. Let's help Liliana out. Where would an oven mitt go? On your hand. It'll, it'll go on your hand. And what we use it for? Right. And so when will we use that? When will we use the oven mitt? Whenever you get things out of the oven. Whenever you get things out of the oven. That's why it's called oven mitt. So the next word is aluminum. And we just came from talking about aluminum. We just came from talking about aluminum. And so is what do we use aluminum foil for? 
Like for wrapping stuff? I have some back there for when we do our banana pudding later. I have some aluminum foil. How are we gonna use that aluminum foil? Take on top of the, uh, uh, the banana pudding? Mm-hmm, Abraham, what are we gonna use the, the aluminum foil for? Later on, what are we gonna use it for? Hmm? We just said, can we tell Abraham what we're gonna use the aluminum foil for? To do what? We just said it. Put it over there. We're gonna put it over the banana yeah. food. So class, what are we gonna use it for? Put it over the banana food. Huh? Okay. Prevent. Can somebody give me a sentence with the word prevent? Two hundred fifty. I mean. Prevent. Are they wow. using like the oven? No, oh, not preheat. That's very good. Cause you do, and that's the most that's the most common temperature that we would preheat an oven to would be 350. But this verb is prevent. It's on the board and it's on the screen. Prevent. Hmm. Rob, can you give me a sentence with prevent? Dishes. <laughs> we really don't have dishes to wash, but um, 
um, hand soap. Because where are we going to go wash our hands at? At the, the sink. At the sink in whose room? Miss Kelly. And what are you going to put on your hands? Soap. 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 All right. Towels to clean up spills. And you need to focus, which means you need to do what? Pay attention. Very, very good. So here's the first safety video. There are a lot of schools in the kitchen that you can use to cut it. The first one most people think of is a knife. I'm showing you the blade right there, and you're also showing you what the, is the, the, the cucumber on? It's on a what? We're to walk around the kitchen. Uh, okay. Okay. Now. But look how she's holding that knife. Yeah. She's holding it by the what? Mm -hmm. uh, What's that called? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That handle. Mm -hmm. You have an extensive mm -hmm. handle. Very sharp mm -hmm. along that part. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have any type of chopper, the little grate right there is very mm -hmm. sharp and can hurt you mm -hmm. if you run your fingers against it. Also, cheese graters can have very sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever cut themselves in a cheese grater before? I don't really like using a knife, but sometimes I'll use some kitchen scissors. They can cut through the same way. It can be a little easier for people yeah. to, to cut things through. Now, when you're cleaning those lines, make sure that you're very careful when you want to wear a glove. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this cucumber. I'm going to put my thumb along the edge, my other finger is around the side, and my pointer finger up top. And I want the blade to go down. Okay, Tom, pay attention. Now, as I'm cutting through to my blade, because it's closer to my finger, I want to move my fingers away. So my fingers are always yeah. far away from the blade, and I won't cut them. Another way to do this is to make sure that you always clean up any spill that you make. So using a cloth towel or a paper towel, make sure you clean up your spills. And if you were to use any appliance with electricity, like a toaster or blender, then it is not close to any water. accidentally walk into somebody or somebody that's not paying attention can walk into you so you always have it your hand is going to be on the handle but you have it pointed down okay now this video is how to be safe with fire and burning even though we won't be using fire today it's still an important video for us to look at Microwave safe, or this is in the microwave. 
That's not nice. Okay, to line up at the door. Brian, put the bathroom pass and then get in the back of the line. Get in the line. Nobody's mad, Lily. We okay? You okay? Okay, good. Brian, come on. All right. Where's Jesus? Jesus? Jesus did it without us. <laughs> Y'all go ahead. <laughs> Hello, Miss Sally's class. We're coming to wash our hands, Miss Young. Sell the door. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Get in the line to this side, y'all. We've did this before. Get in the line over here. Y'all get in the line. Yes. All righty. So turn the water on. And we're going to use the soap that's right up there. You see that? You see that soap? And then after you wash your hands, you're going to go back to the classroom. Very good. Okay, rinse the soap off. Grab your towel. Go back to the room. Okay, your turn, Anna. Make sure you those nails don't have nothing under those nails. So those are some long nails. Okay, rinse them off. Okay. 
Okay, grab a paper towel. Alrighty. Tino, you can use this soap. I'll give you some dishes. Oops, I might have poured a little too much. No, the one that's hanging up. You can reach it? Can you reach it? Nope. I sure is that so good? Cold. Yes. It's so cold. I can make it a little warmer. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, go back to class. Come on. Right. Salvador, keep still. All right, get a paper towel. I didn't see the soap. You put soap? Okay. All right. Very good, Lily. Okay, Lily, get your paper towel. Mm -hmm. Okay, go back by Mr. Dodd in the classroom. Good job, Brian. How many pumps, Salvador? One, two. You went more than two, but that's okay. All right, paper towel. That, look, 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 look. <sighs> Brian, one paper towel. There. One, 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 it's down already. Grab the paper towel. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Miss Young. <laughs> Mr. Dodd, Omar is laying on the table in the hallway. Laying on the table in the hallway. I know. Let me know if he doesn't cooperate. Thank 
Goop, hey, you over there. Hey. I'm so sorry. Goop, hey, come to that Can you move that chair between us, please? Yeah, chair. All right, so. All three and everybody else pay attention and let them know if they're using the knife correctly to cut their banana. What? No, me. What? Brian, that does not belong to you. Take that off. Not funny. Come here, Brian. Not funny. Who did that balloon? Is that yours? That's it.
Now why is it okay to uh, use your hands? Because y'all just washed them. All right, now, now spread the banana. Somebody saw it. You're gonna have to use your, your fingers to, to spread. Because nobody wants to get a spoon of banana pudding with no bananas. Put some along that edge too. Oh! That's okay, we'll get it on the floor. Stop acting silly. Remember, it said on the board to what? We need to what? It starts with an F. Focus. Focus. Okay. All right, so take your banana peelers. Take Sean, stop playing. Take your banana peelers and y'all place and go throw them away. Everybody give a round of applause to see All right. Now, Brian, come over here so you can help with this. 
Liliana, hand me the milk, please. Oh, sure. Let me see if it pours on this time. Uh-oh. So, you pour, and I'm going to hold, no. You hold the cup. You hold the cup like this. So make sure it doesn't move, okay? Hold it back to where it's flat like this, okay? That's the number four.
Okay. Okay, we probably just need a, another minute and then we can pour it over. Hey, Sean, can you, can you take this to Miss Ellie's room and rinse these two things off, please? Because I don't want them to make a mess. Thank you. Um, okay, it's, it's ready to be poured. So who wants to pour it? Me. No. You want to pour it? Okay. All right, everybody, so y'all help. Y'all cheer Liliana on as she's pouring the pudding. So you're gonna pour it like this, okay? And you're gonna go pour it all over the pudding, the, the pudding mix, okay? Here, hold it. Probably should've made the third box. I didn't think you would need the third box. What we're going to do is you're going to take the whipped cream 
and you're gonna drop it like this in different little spots, okay? And drop it. Oh, that's your elective, but y'all are gonna be just a few minutes late for the elective. Go ahead, finish dropping it. They're ready for you. 